These are practice exercises from page 400 and 401 in the textbook dealing with partial pressures and mole fractions. So in the first one, they want us to find a total pressure. And they're telling us that we've got 2 grams of hydrogen gas and 8 grams of nitrogen gas, and then they're giving us some information about the conditions. So the first thing you want to remember is that according to Dalton's law of partial pressures, the total pressure, so P total, is equal to the partial pressure of the individual gases. So it's going to be equal to the pressure by the hydrogen gas added to the pressure from the nitrogen gas. And since we can just add these pressures together, what's going to make the most sense is to calculate the partial pressures individually and just add together our answers. So in order to calculate pressure, we want to see what kind of other information we've got. So we have a temperature, which is 273 Kelvin, and they're giving us a volume, which is 10 liters. We know from the ideal gas law that PV equals nRT. So if we want to solve for the pressures of these, we're going to need to know the moles, the ideal gas constant, and the temperature, and divide that by volume. Well, we always know the ideal gas constant, R, so the only other piece of information that we're missing is the moles, N. So we're going to have to calculate the moles separately for each substance, but then we can put each of those substances into their own pressure calculation. So let's start by finding the moles of H2. We know that we've got 2.00 grams, and we know based on the periodic table that every mole of H2 weighs two times the mass of a single hydrogen, so 2.02 grams. So that tells us that we've got 0 0.99 moles of H2. We can do something similar for moles of N2. This time we know that we've got 8 grams. Again, based on the periodic table, we know that a mole of N2 is going to weigh 28 grams. So make sure that you are doubling that because it is diatomic. So that means we only have 0 0.286 moles of N2. Now we're going to use both of these to solve for the pressure and then we can add together our pressures. So the pressure of the H2 is going to be equal to the moles of H2 times R times the temperature divided by the volume and we're going to get that the pressure of the H2 is equal to 2.22 atmospheres. In order to solve for the partial pressure of the N2, we're going to do something very similar. Since we know that R is always the same number, the temperature is the same, and the volume that they occupy is the same, the only thing that's going to change is the value of N. So instead of 0.99, we're going to plug in the 0.286. And when you do that calculation, you should get an answer of 0 0.641 atmospheres. Since we know that the total pressure is just the sum of the partial pressures, if we add these two numbers together, 2.22 atmospheres, and 0 0.641 atmosphere, we're going to round that to three significant figures. So that means that our P total is equal to 2.22 plus 0 0.641, and again, rounded to three significant figures there. So following our decimal place, it's only to the tenths place. We're going to get an answer of 2.86 atmospheres as our total pressure. So this partial pressure stuff is really straightforward. If you can calculate individual pressures, you can just add them to get the total pressure. Likewise, if you know the total pressure, you can subtract a partial pressure to solve for another partial pressure. So we're not really changing up how we do the calculations. We're just understanding that there can be multiple contributions to the pressure, depending on how many different gases are involved. For the next question, they are giving us a total pressure here.
And then they're giving us a bunch of mole percents. And what they're asking us to calculate is the partial pressure of each gas. So mole percents are related to mole fractions, and it's helpful to understand this relationship and that if we take our mole fraction and multiply it by 100, we will get a mole percent. So if I've got 82 mole percent nitrogen, that means I've got a mole fraction of 0.82. And the mole fraction can be multiplied by the total pressure to get the partial pressure. So the way this is going to look is that the partial pressure of each gas is just going to be related to its mole fraction of the total. So the partial pressure of the nitrogen gas is just going to be equal to the total pressure multiplied by its mole fraction. And remembering that the mole percent was just 100 times, so as a fraction, this is going to be 0.82, which means that 82% of the 1,220 torr is due to the nitrogen. So that's going to give us an answer of 1,004 torr. We're going to round that to two significant figures because all the percents were given in two significant figures. So we're actually going to do 1.0 times 10 to the 3 torr is the partial pressure of nitrogen. We can do the same thing for the argon. We know that the total pressure, 1,220 torr. We know that 12% of that is due to argon. So multiplying by 0.12 would give us an answer of 146.4 torr. Rounding that to two significant figures, we're going to have 1.5 times 10 to the 2. And lastly, we're going to do that for the CH4. Again, we know that the total pressure, 1,220 torr. We know that only 6% of that is due to the methane, so 0 0.06 is what we're going to multiply by. And when you do that math, you're going to come out with an answer of 73.2 torr, which we are just going to leave as 73 torr. So these problems are pretty straightforward. What you really just want to understand is that the mole fraction tells you basically what percentage or what fraction of the total pressure is due to each individual gas, and you can treat that as a ratio and try to figure out, well, if the total is 1,220, what's 82% of that? So partial pressures, mole fractions, these are really straightforward concepts. The language can get a little confusing, but the more you practice with them, the easier they are. So just keep reading through the problems. Again, think about what it physically means to be 82 mole percent nitrogen and realizing that if you're 82 mole percent, that means you're responsible for 82% of the total pressure.